future of a travel baseball team in the northern suburbs is in doubt tonight. The facility where the Lakeside Legends practice shut its doors. CBS 2's Roseanne Tay is live in Mundelein. Roseanne, the parents of the players could be out some big bucks here. Rob, I'm told more than $3,000 each, more than 70 players, some of them playing with their high school teams tonight here at Mundelein High School. But as word gets out about their situation, more people are stepping up to the plate to help. Employees and parents met outside Bat Speed Academy to come up with a plan B after they found this closed sign on the door Saturday, effectively ending the season for the Lakeside Legends team before it even began. This coach got the news face to face. He came in on Saturday morning and just told us that, you know, the place was going um, under, that uh, they didn't have any more money for it. But, I mean, that's all they really left us with. It's what he left them and their kids without that has parents you know, angry. Of course, the money. It's a, that's a big thing, you know, and I don't know who the guy is, but it's like, come on, man. I'm like, what's going on? It's almost $3,000. Absolutely. And so when you add up to 70, yeah, that's a lot of money. Angie Houts' son, Brandon, played with the Legends last year, bonded with his teammates, and was looking forward to another great season. This didn't just happen overnight, and they could have let us know. They could have let the coaches know. They could have let these kids know so that they could have a season this summer. Mark McQuaid, the owner of Triple Play in Antioch, is just one of many offering to pitch in and help. I've got some people that have volunteered to, to coach for free. McQuaid says he knows how tough Everybody this is on the kids. Yeah, it would be a huge disappointment. Uh, oh, absolutely. You know, if, for some of these kids, baseball is their life. So with coaches and clubs stepping forward to help, the remaining need is money. Money for uniforms and tournament costs. We did reach out to the owner of the club, Scott Zernajewski of Lake Forest. We got no reply. Live in Mundelein tonight, Roseanne Tea, CBS 2 News. Rob? So they will get to play if they can raise yet more money for the things you were just talking about, Roseanne? They have a slew of details to work out, but a lot's on the line. Some of these parents tell me it's a college prep program. They were hoping that their kids would be seen by, uh, you know, college scouts. So uh, they're hoping to pull it all together, Rob. Okay. Roseanne Tay is live in Mundelein for us. Thank you. Well, coming up.